Hey guys, one of the cool things that you can do in Excel is actually create custom lists for fill sequences. So what that means is if we type in shoes, for example, here, I've created a custom list of product categories. So if I grab that fill handle in the bottom right hand corner of that cell, I drag that down and you'll see, you'll see shoes again there. So I'll just go right to books and stationary. You'll see that that automatically generated a list of product categories that I've already set up using the edit custom lists. Uh, under the options section of Excel. So the next thing we can do is I'll show you how we do that. And there's two ways of doing it. We can either import or the other option is we can create a manual list. So if we go to file, we're going to head over to options and then we'll go over to the advanced tab over on the left hand side. You're going to scroll down to the general section. Once we get to that general section, you'll see this edit custom lists. So one of the things you'll first see here is shoes, scarves, hats, gloves. That's already set up for us. So if we want to set up a new list and what I've done here is actually, you can see that the import list is already selected. But if we go to uh, John all the way through Justin and I select this down arrow here, this is building an import list from cells. So if we click import, you'll see that that automatically now has generated. So if we hit OK, and OK again, and we pop over here and we type in John. And we use that fill handle again, you'll see that we'll be able to generate that list automatically. So that's kind of cool. So in this case, we have a list of employees that we can use. The next thing we can do is then obviously add something manually. So let's just say we had a list of warehouses or something we want to add, uh, which was a table that we have uh, that we use often, let's say. So if we go back over to options again, We'll scroll down to advanced and then down to general and edit custom lists again. So in this case, if we click over here to the list of entries section, if I type in, uh, let's just say New York, Los Angeles, and let's just say Toronto for now, and we hit add, that's created that list. If I hit OK again, hit OK. So if I hit New York over here, and then we just scroll that down, you'll see again that we've created that custom list. So that's basically how you create custom fill sequences in Excel. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks for joining me. Bye.